Welcome to Easy Way for Education. Guide Victor's Grade 9, the Social Science Class 23, in the notes and assignment answers. So, I am going to present you. Video load the card again. Number one. Each channel is better. Subscribe. The link is subscribe. Yeah, like. Yeah, share. Yeah. So let's get to the video. Add the notes. I am present you. Number right to freedom. Freedom is guaranteed by the Indian Constitution. Freedom of speech and expression, freedom to assemble peacefully without arms. Besides these two rights, the following rights are also included in the right to freedom. Freedom to form association, freedom to travel anywhere in India, freedom to reside anywhere in India, freedom to carry on any occupation, trade or business, right to life and personal liberty, Right to free and compulsory education to all children in the age group of 6 to 14 years. Right against exploitation. The right against exploitation is concerned with the prohibition of this type of exploitation and equip that individuals for leading a dignified life. As per the right, forced labor and profit in human beings are prohibited. Employment of children in factories and other dangerous sectors are forbidden. Right to freedom of religion. Right to freedom of religion ensures the following. Right to profess, practice and propagate any religion. Freedom to establish and maintain institutions for religious and charitable purposes. Right against taxation for promoting a particular religion. Cultural and educational rights. According to this, the following aspects have been ensured for the minority. Protection of their language, script and culture. Religious and linguistic minorities have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice. Right to constitutional remedies. The constitution proposes remedial measures if the fundamental rights are violated. This is known as the right to constitutional remedies. As for this right, if the fundamental rights are violated, an individual can approach either the Supreme Court or High Courts for enforcing them. The orders issued by the respective courts for the enforcement of the fundamental rights are known as writs. Directive Principles The Constitution directs the central and the state governments to organize and implement programs like the above keeping the public welfare in mind. Such directives are included in Part 4 of the Indian Constitution as the Directive Principles, socio-economic and political programs which are helpful for the creation of a welfare state are included in the Directive Principles. Certain provisions of directive principles. Free legal aid. Equal pay for equal work to both men and women. Protection of the educational and economic interests of the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Ensuring international peace and security. There is no provision to approach the court for the enforcement of the directive principles. Several ideas of the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi, have been included in the directive principles. Some of them are mentioned below. Organization of Grama Panchayats, Promotion of Cottage Industries, Prohibition of Intoxicating Substances. Fundamental Duties What are Fundamental Duties? Fundamental duties are included in Part 4 of the Constitution. Certain duties are to be performed by the citizens towards the state to protect the unity and integrity of the nation. These duties are known as fundamental duties. Next, assignment question. First question, how does right to freedom of religion promote secularism? Discuss. Answer. Indian constitution ensures the right to freedom of religion. This enables people to believe in any religion. 
The right to freedom of religion ensures the right to protect, practice, and propagate any religion. Freedom is also given to establish and maintain institutions for religious and charitable purposes. The country is not having any official religion. In this way, the right to freedom of religion promotes secularism. Second question. Analyze the importance of the right to constitutional remedy. Answer. Fundamental rights are to be protected. The constitution proposes remedial measures if the fundamental rights are violated. This is known as the right to constitutional remedy. As per this right, if the fundamental rights are violated, an individual can approach either the Supreme Court or High Court for enforcing them. The orders issued by the respective courts for enforcement of the fundamental rights are known as writs. Thus, the right to constitutional remedy plays a significant role in protecting our rights. Fundamental duties are responsibilities which individuals have to perform towards themselves. Analyze. This is the third question. Answer. Fundamental duties are included in Part 4A of the Constitution. Duties are to be performed by the citizens towards the state to protect the unity and integrity of the nation. These duties are known as fundamental duties. When the state provides us rights and protection, it is our duty to abide the constitution to develop cordiality among the citizens and to provide help for the betterment of the nation. Accomplishing the fundamental duties in this manner will create a better society and its result will reach everyone. In effect, the fundamental duties can be considered as responsibilities which the individuals have to perform toward themselves. इतने लोग इन दिन वीडियो पे नई वीडियो इस टाइम आए लाइक या ना कमेंट या ना सब्सक्राइब या ना मार कर दो पे नई वीडियो ने की यूज़फुल है लेकिन लोग फ्रेंड्स मार शेयर या ना मार कर दो नानी नमस्कार